Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. We're dedicated to delivering quality auto parts, expert customer service, fast and free shipping, all backed by our 100% satisfaction guarantee. So visit us at 1AAuto.com, your trusted source for quality auto parts. In this video, we're going to be working with our 1996 GMC Sierra K1500 5.7 liter V8. We're going to show you how to remove and replace your vehicle's alternator. If you like this video, please click subscribe. We have a ton more information on this truck as well as many other makes and models. And if you need this part for your vehicle, you can follow the link down in the description over to 1AAuto.com. Here are the items you'll need for this repair. Remove the negative post from your battery using a 5 16 or an 8 millimeter wrench. Remove the terminal and isolate it from the battery. Be sure your vehicle has a belt path diagram somewhere on the cowl or under the hood before removing the belt. If it's missing or unclear, be sure to draw it somewhere under the hood or take a good picture. Put the 3 8 drive of a ratchet into the square on your serpentine belt tensioner and turn it counterclockwise to release tension. Then simply pull the belt off of any one of the pulleys, slowly release the tension from the tensioner, remove your ratchet and take the belt off of the pulleys. Remove the 10 millimeter bolt on the top of the bracket at the rear of your alternator. I'm using a 10 millimeter wrench. You could use a socket and ratchet and try to sneak around this cooling line here, but I don't want to risk breaking that, so I'll just use a smaller tool. Remove the two 13 millimeter bolts at the bottom of the alternator. Carefully wiggle and lift the alternator out of its brackets. You may need to use a small pry bar to help lift it out. Carefully reposition the alternator so you can easily access the wiring on the back. Lift up on the tab for the clip and remove that connector. Lift up on the rubber boot and remove this 13 millimeter bolt with a socket and ratchet. Ours is actually on a stud that's spinning, so we'll need a 13 millimeter wrench on the bottom side to hold that in place. Once the connections are undone, remove your alternator from the vehicle. Reinstall the alternator laying it first on the pulley side. Reinstall the power terminal, the lock washer, and the 13 millimeter nut, which will then tighten down with our 13 millimeter socket and ratchet. You don't have to go crazy here, just get it snug. That lock washer should keep anything from falling off. Throw the boot back on. Reconnect the plug. Lay the alternator back into position. Reinstall the two 13 millimeter bolts at the bottom first. Tighten them down with the 13 millimeter socket and ratchet. Reinstall the 10 millimeter bolt at the back of the alternator. Tighten it back down with a 10 millimeter wrench. Hook the serpentine belt around the crank pulley or harmonic balancer from the passenger side. Be sure that it seats fully into the grooves of the pulley and doesn't lay over the edge on either side. Wrap the driver's side of the belt 
around the water pump. Under the power steering pump on the other side. Up and over the AC compressor. I already have the left side wrapped around the tensioner here just because that's where it falls. And then from over the AC compressor, under the idler pulley, reinstall the ratchet into the tensioner. Turn the ratchet counterclockwise to release the tension and install your belt over the alternator. Take a second just to look around and make sure that your belt is seated and routed properly before releasing the tension, removing your ratchet. Reconnect your battery and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.